This video is brought to you by Squarespace, where you can build your own little home on the internet, all on one platform. We're back. I know it's been a while since I filmed a what I eat in a week video, but remember guys, it's really important to maintain a healthy relationship with food. So I wanted to make sure I was maintaining some balance because no, I did not film every single thing that I ate. So today we are making a parfait and this was prompted by the fact that it's peach season because these look, I kind of have a love hate relationship with peaches because like the fact that they're fuzzy, this, it's a bit weird, but they're delicious. So that always wins. I don't know if you guys can even tell, but this is like a pinkish color because the yogurt itself is like a cherry flavor. And I was originally gonna go for like a plum peach situation, but I saw the strawberries sitting in my refrigerator. And as you can see, the hue, the hue combination is beautiful. And in previous videos, I've always used like green free granola. To be honest with you, I can't even remember why. Like I think maybe I was just not doing oats to see how my body would respond to it and never really stopped. Cause like I started eating oatmeal in like previous videos as you guys saw. So I figured why not reincorporate it? The texture, that's my favorite thing. That's like the one thing that you can't replace with just eating nuts. And recently I rediscovered a place that I had had like a noodle dish at before. I was like, you know what? That was, that, that was really good. And I wanted to order it again and they were closed. So I was like, okay. So 
you know me, I just made it at home. And seeing as I had to use what I had on hand, it's not like an exact dupe or anything, but what I am attempting to make is something of a lao curry. Again, based off of the one that I had at a restaurant, which also I'm sure wasn't authentic. We've got some onions, we've got some garlic, and we got some Thai curry paste. Coconut milk. And if you've been watching the channel for a while, this recipe probably already looks slightly familiar. It is quite similar to the Thai curry. It's not, but I am recreating some dishes from previous episodes because that is how I've decided to like organize the blog. So yes, the blog will be relaunching very soon. I've been trying to figure out the best way to format it so that you guys can easily navigate it and find all the recipes that I've ever shared with you, but also without having to create an individual post for every single one. Because as y'all know, I'm not really that repetitive with my meals and videos because I'm not that way in real life, with the exception of smoothies that is. So what I've done is basically recapped the what I eat in a week videos, the whole playlist, and I've tried to highlight like a favorite from each and that's basically the title of the post. But within that post is the original episode and all of the recipes from that one video. So now whether or not you can recall what the title was, you can now just put in the ingredients or the recipe and be able to find it on the search. And since the video is embedded, you don't have to leave the website in order to follow along. You can have everything all in one place. And what's great about all of that is as complex as it sounds, it was actually really easy because all of these features are just like drag and drop on Squarespace's website. So that made my life way easier. And it could be just that easy for you too. So if you are in the market to build your own website, you can get a free trial. And then after that, you can get 10% off with your first purchase. All you have to do is go to squarespace.com backslash a between e. And then without a doubt, my favorite part of this dish is all of the fresh herbs that they put on top. So I'm literally just recreating whatever it is that they use with the exception of the noodles. I'm using vermicelli noodles just because they cook the easiest and the fastest, but you could use a thicker rice noodle. And then I'm topping it with Thai basil, cilantro, mint, and peanuts. And then I remember one of you guys commenting about this technique in a previous video and I've always known about it. I just never tried it because I am lazy. Sometimes you just have to accept who you are and don't fight it. So yes, I'm going to take the easiest route, but if you either don't like tofu or you do like tofu, but you want to administer as much flavor as you possibly can. That process is just freezing it because when you freeze it and then defrost it, you can get so much liquid out of it. And yes, you could use a press, but honestly, this is the goat because as you can see, it completely changes the texture of your tofu. It literally becomes nothing but a sponge. Case in point, this. Do you guys see how quickly that liquid disappears? This is balsamic vinegar because we are making a marinade. I am making balsamic chicken. I'm using air quotes that you can't see, but understand this is a dish that I used to make with actual chicken, you know, when I ate meat and it was my favorite thing. Like literally, if I made chicken, this was the only way. This was the only preparation because it's so easy and I wouldn't even like marinate it overnight. I would literally make it like just a few minutes before I was going to cook it. And all that consists of is balsamic, olive oil, do some salt and pepper. You can add some more spices if you want to, like garlic, but I used to keep it super simple and just do those two with rosemary. I suppose you could use dry, but really fresh is on a whole nother level. So if you can, definitely do that part. and then I just set that in the refrigerator overnight. This is the rest of the tofu that I didn't cut because this I'm just gonna break apart. So as you can see, you could easily make like popcorn chicken or like little tofu nuggets. Here, I'm just prepping. I didn't actually use it in this video. Sorry to disappoint, but that will be in a future video. So now you have something to look forward to.
And because the peaches that I had in the beginning of this video were so good, like bussin', I had to go get some more. However, this day I had literally just bought this peach. Like I was on my way home to eat them immediately they were still a bit firm. And if it's one thing I don't like, it's under ripe fruit. So what do you do in that instance? You cook them, because that is definitely gonna bring out those sugars, you know? And it's also gonna soften it up, which was really my point. And yes, you guys are seeing a new piece of kitchenware. Literally months ago, before I even moved, I ordered this Dutch oven as like a Kickstarter type of thing. I had the option of this grill top. And y'all know how I feel about like space saving stuff. So I figured this would be a good investment because most of the time I'm just cooking for me. It's not gonna be that way forever because this is getting married at some point. So I figured I should like practice. Practice making more than one or two portions because I'm really bad with that, honestly. And I was just really excited about being able to get some grill marks. Sometimes like not getting bored with my food is as simple as making my food look different. Although this is just a salad, tell me this don't make it look 10 times better. Like, come on. You want to bite into that peach. I didn't use any sweetener, but the sugar that came out of these peach, oh my God. I'm getting excited just thinking about it. But anyway, I put in some ricotta, some vegan ricotta cheese. And I have been going through a bit of a yogurt phase. So this time I'm using my absolute favorite combination, passion fruit and golden kiwi. And I'm, I'm not using that dragon fruit, so just go ahead and ignore that. I thought I might need some more fruit. I didn't. Didn't even need both of these passion fruit, but I ate it. And if you are also grieving the amount of juice that I am losing from this fruit on this cutting board right now, do this over top of your of your yogurt cup or do it over a bowl because then you can just like just slurp it up. Clearly these kiwis were perfectly ripe. Another fruit that I must keep on hand when it's in season at all times.
And then finally, I got to making that balsamic chicken. And this, I would also highly recommending like getting some grill marks on it because then it'll look like a nice little filet. But I was really scared that my tofu was gonna fall apart. We'll just put it in a regular nonstick pan, keep it simple. Normally I'd have that as, you know, just a regular little protein side dishes, but I miss my sourdough. I miss it, so I needed to make a sandwich. And you guys have also seen this one before because it's one of my favorites because I love me some pesto, which of course I made myself, so I will link that down below. Don't forget, all of the recipes are down in the description box. And then when the blog relaunches, you'll be able to find everything there as well. Just remember that I do be guesstimating because I don't measure anything while I am cooking. So feel free to adjust to your liking. And then this is the point where I realized that as someone who loves onions as much as they say they do, I was lacking options. So I decided to pickle. However, it was also at this moment that I realized I didn't have any apple cider vinegar but that's fine because I did have distilled vinegar, which generally I use strictly for cleaning, but it ain't gonna hurt nothing. So all you gotta do is season your onions to your liking, like peppercorn, slices of garlic, a little bit of sugar, go for it. But these are quick pickles, so you could just leave it on your counter for like 30 minutes if you wanna have them immediately. But I just went ahead and refrigerated them because I knew I wouldn't be having them until the next day. Bread, just bread, that's the title. Of course we gotta have avocado toast. And my favorite thing about pairing is that, you know, normally you need that little bit of acidity of like lime juice or lemon to cut the fat. Well, this is the perfect combination because you have all of that brine. You've seen me put this on like bagels with veggies. They're also really good in salads because then you could use that brine for your salad dressing.
hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it lets me know what you want to see more of i really thrive on feedback y'all because like these videos are for you they're not for me I just want you to be happy so you might have also noticed that i've made this video a bit longer are you feeling it or not let me know and i'll see you in the next one bye